library. Very nice library there. Now we're going into the museum. Chobim Form. Chobim Form. That's the museum that I'm going to be going in. As you can read, see, it's all written in their language. One amazing thing in Chechnya is that they save energy. Because I made the museum, because I noticed this when I was um, at another place. But now I made the museum. When you're here, when you're walking in the passage, it's all lit. And when you go to different rooms, like now I'm in an in a art painting room. When we came in, the light was off. The moment you come through the door and make a few steps, there's somebody inside who then turned the lights on. And when you go out, because then they know there's nobody else in the room, then they turn the light off. That's saving energy like that. It, I just think it's wonderful. The museum, they've got um, ladies, um, young and older ladies, looking after... Um, after the um, the artifacts and looking after everything, um, ushering visitors around, trying to help visitors as well. And it's quite amazing that you know you walk in the passage. See the passage; it's not well lit, but the moment you go into another room, then they turn the light on. That to me is the best way of saving energy. Church Union Museum. Some of these things are between 2 to 3 BC. That's very old. Look at this. These daggers, maybe this is what they use in the war. These are very old, isn't it? Yes. So this is what they um, use in the war? Is this uh, like a spear? Dark. So this must have killed someone. Free? Yeah. Free or eight uh, hundreds uh, BC. BC? Yes. yes. So this must have killed someone during those days. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> like a Hitler one. Mm, but uh, it's that's turn. All right, it's turned, okay. Turn. Uh, it's when the uh, Chechnya take the Islam. Interesting. Um, 500 or 800 years BC. Yeah, 500, 800 BC. Wow. Interesting. Going to the largest mosque in Europe, and it's right here in Chechnya, Grozny. Wow, this is one of the most beautiful buildings that I've ever seen here in Grozny. And it is a mosque, and it's big. It's very, very big. My friend has told me that this mosque can accommodate more than 2,000 worshippers, and it's the biggest mosque in Europe. As a non-Muslim, I was very impressed for a friend to take me everywhere through the mosque. Of course, you have to follow religious rules, which are not wearing your shoes or your baseball cap, and walk with a friend who took me to the first floor, second floor, ground floor, basement, there are prayer rooms everywhere inside this mosque. I'm very, very impressed. This mosque has got a few floors. It has got a ground floor, basement. There are people here praying all day. I feel blessed to be at this lovely mosque in Chechnya Grozny. And I cannot stop admiring the place. It's just like food to the eyes and the prayers are music to the ears. Just all so wonderfully built and so huge. It's humongous. The video, the camera does not do it any justice. I will say, when you have time, come to Chechnya, Grozny and visit this mosque. It's right in the city center. 
You cannot miss it even if you try. And do not be scared of coming to Chechnya because it's safe. I have walked the towns and I will be putting more videos on my way back from Vladivostok because I want to explore Chechnya a little bit more because now I know that it's safe. And since it's safe, I am happy to share with all of you my subscribers and my viewers. If you haven't subscribed, do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. Have a lovely day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. <laughs>